Hello, it's Sam and Bella. We're having a lazy Sunday and I thought it was a good idea that maybe every Sunday I would do a stock video. Sunday stock video. First of all, uh, one of the best pieces I think in the store at the moment, a 1960s or 70s MAC jacket. The other stuff. This one's kind of cool because it's by Champion Brand, an athletic kind of sportswear. Quite collectible, even the 80s stuff is really collectible. This is definitely in the 60s or 70s. Got a little lazy uh, totally finding the label for it since they were only so valuable. Anyways, um, I put this one at 42 bucks. This is about a size small. And it was featured on a movie and made on Salt Spring Island. It was kind of cool. Um, don't know too much about it, but I'll let everyone know more when I know. Uh, another men's piece. Just one lonely, tiny little shirt. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have another one to look up. <laughs> Khaki green, long sleeve button up. Boys, take it before us girls. Steal that stuff from you, because we do. Last piece for the men. Um, this could be really good for Halloween, or if you ski your snowboard, a 1980s descent uh, ski suit. It zips all the way down the side of the leg, and same with the other leg. Zips all the way down to the crotch. So we got lots of ways to get in and out of this thing. I've priced it at 80 bucks. It is about a size small. Crazy 80s. <coughs> More crazy 80s. Brown leather coat. Uh, for women, but a man could technically wear this. That good old slouchy uh, 80s slash 90s kind of wear. Hold type deal. Um, this is a really great uh, leather coat for the woman. I'm sure as you can kind of tell. It's a stellar kind of deep olive green. It's also got gorgeous pin tuck details in it. Uh, so this is a slightly fancier one that I just got in. I have it at $158. It was made locally by Surrey Classics, so it's a Vancouver brand. Uh, a lot of this kind of stuff was local, especially back in the day, because uh, leather and stuff would be locally sourced, made, and probably not as ethical as it could be, but now there's changes to that kind of world, but keep it going. Um, a little silk uh, Versace inspired uh, bomber blazer thing. <laughs> no, not a blazer jacket. Uh, yeah, this classic bomber shape, the poofy silk pattern. It's like a mosaic of flowers and checkers and stuff. The crazy ugly 80s. Um, it is by Daniel Hector, which is kind of a decent ish um, European brand. And it's size 40. About, or, uh, sorry, size small, about 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, definitely a decent one. Not anything to write home about, but good. Uh, okay, so I have a quick one for the chicks. Uh, this could offend a few people. I'll tell you why, and you'll see why. It's a Halloween costume. <laughs> you can be a cheesy gothic slut. <laughs> I don't think it's the slut part of the gothic part that will offend anyone. It might be the cheesy. <laughs> 90s is coming back. They, uh, I tried. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Uh, there's also two pieces here, which could be great for a lot of... Halloween costumes you may have, a 90s trip corset, but it's not really vintage, it's just second hand. Uh, this stuff wasn't being made in the early 90s, um, but uh, it's still, it's decent enough because you guys pay out the ass for these kind of things, and they're usually not very good. Um, even when you think they're really good, they're usually still kind of like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have this for 36, it's size small, so waist goes from about 26 to 28, these little cinchy things are mostly faux, they don't really do anything, zipper back, so it's a stretch, fits at about a 26, stretches to about a 28, this horrible PVC pleather stuff, this, some of it's not bad, it's all kind of horrible, but this is like the kind of spongy, ooh, it's nasty, snap up, faux belt on the front, little pockets, um, yeah, there's probably quite a few Halloween costume things you could do with that. Uh, this will be cheap. Yeah, I have it at $8. I have it for 5 if you mention the video. <laughs> uh, this also could be used for costume just quickly for women. Um, just a long sleeve button-up blouse with some embroidery along the collar and the button pocket is kind of all scalloped down there. It's quite pretty. Steampunk Victorian things Halloween maybe? I don't know. Someone may be in need of it. 18 bucks. Size medium. This is a stellar one. Uh, I think it, it may actually be quite modern. <sighs> I'm just so in love with this look though right now. I think it's great. 
Um, I wouldn't mind seeing the little girls being able to wear their tits out with nothing else underneath this. Underneath this, larger girls is too distracting. Um, us little girls don't have the little tit girls don't have a way to like distract the guys without it being ha in your face. <laughs> okay, not that aggressive, but sexy, pretty aggressive. <laughs> um, anyways, I just really like this look. There's no uh, anything amazing about it. I have it priced about 26 size medium. Um, it would just be a popular good piece at the moment. It's good for layering. Little bit of vintage lingerie. <clears throat> Possible for Halloween, but uh, they do wash out well being that they're nylon. They don't really stain, so if you zombify or have some fun with it, uh, as long as it's not ripped and torn, it wouldn't be horrible, but these pieces are just fun and cute to wear around the house. This one's 28 bucks, size medium, and it is made in Montreal by a brand, Lovely, spelled L-O-V dash L-E-E. <laughs> a little cheesy uh, 50s influence in the 60s there for you, 1960s, and you probably saw the close-up of the um, links I was trying to show you while I was chatting. Full body flips. Apparently, they're not making them anymore. Everyone who goes to one of the main places for lingerie, the bay, no luck. I'm quite sure you can find some full body slips, definitely some lace ones upstairs above me. That's why I looked up at a really rad new boutique called Knickers. Uh, I would definitely suggest checking them out. I keep oh, face palm forgetting to check out about the full body slips because I have been hearing that uh, women are generally having a really hard time finding these pieces. A little ironic with all these sheer pieces coming out like that lace thing. So if you have a full dress like that, you need these pieces. This is a uh, tag has been cut out or I couldn't get the name out of it. Um, size large, 36 inch waist, uh, you could probably get this around a medium body too, a little big. It's about a $22. I've just noticed these are all getting a lot harder to find all of a sudden, so uh, I've raised the prices past their classic, what I'm used to with them. We'll see if they start to reappear or not. Um, <coughs> $16, just a really cool blouse, semi-sheer, it's got such a rad pattern on it. Uh, by Style Right from Toronto. <laughs> um, again, that lovely stuff made locally. Uh, maybe traveled across the country. Ah, I forgot to rate the size. It's a small, medium-ish. Can wear it a little oversized. I have it at 16, a little cheaper because there's some tiny, tiny little holes, um, which really don't make a difference. But I found them. I know about it, so it's a better price for you. Ah, uh, <laughs> polyester, 1980 or 70s, more 70s polyester. <laughs> I looked at this brand because it looked interesting when you see the label. Eva Fisher Couture uh, from London. That was Eva Fisher Couture. Uh, I don't think it's from the boutique era. It is kind of in that like date range. Um, I didn't really look up the address or anything on a quick Google. Nothing. So I figured it wasn't like a big famous British person. But maybe it is. Cause I don't know. I haven't memorized that stuff. There's too much snobbery around it. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not good with the stuff that people... The knowledge equals ego. I'm like, e knowledge doesn't equal ego. Intelligence, maybe. Um, anyway, this one's 18 bucks. It is a rad design. Someone has... Uh, the designer has definitely put some effort into it. This one is uh, 18 bucks. Town J, Canadian one. Uh, green striped floral. Both are about a size small. Ah, uh, this one a medium. It's gonna fall soon. <laughs> ah, another little random casual t-shirt, Corette. Um, I don't know, I knew it used to be of California. I have to do a little bit of research, because it's in V-shape in there on the plaid, and the red, white, and blue, and, you know, it's a cool t-shirt. $16, size small. I should just start putting stuff on the dog, she likes it. Ah, uh, a little dress. This one comes with these cinchback tie waist. I do find that as long as you fit into it, well, you don't even have to fit the shoulders of these. You can really rock these oversized. They're a lot of fun to play with. I have it labeled as a size large, so a small and medium girl might steal it. You don't take it. Stop on, buy it. Come on, guys, get going. <laughs> it's kind of a fun, silly, dorky brand from the 80s. SMW, style my way. <laughs> that stuff always made me barf. Still does. Um, but it makes me giggle, too. So barfing and giggling, well, that's a trade. <laughs> Win, lose. Whatever. Uh, blue floral, uh, short sleeve, tie back. Um, also has some really cool little kind of pin tuck pleat details that go in there. Lace collar. Um, some light shoulder pads in there too. Uh, easy to remove. Um, yeah. I just love these dresses in general a lot more now even than when they were done. 
<coughs> skirts. Let me just grab this whole pile so we can go kind of quick. This is a David Brooks plaid-ish plaid check. I just looked it up and I know the exact name to this check. And I've now forgotten. 20 bucks, size small, 27 inch waist, mostly cotton, midi, mid-length skirt. Big this year. Another midi kind of boho skirt. This one's a wrap, so we could change the size just by moving the buttons over. I have it at 26. I'd say it has about 3 to 4 inches max that we could move it over, so small to medium, technically. 16 bucks, light right on. Um, layer this, especially with this kind of stuff during the winter to keep warm, and it still looks good with these fall colors. So, pretty versatile piece. Another versatile boho batik um, print pattern, and these nice rust colors, elastic back waist, uh, black rust, all those kind of great colors. Cool pattern. I think this is a really good fall one. Oh, I love this one. I just, just, just put this out last night. Oh, just take it before I do. I just sold a similar one. Oh, I'm trying to go fast and not speak too, too fast, and I'm out of breath. I just love the pattern on this. It's uh, pretty freaking stellar, as you can tell. Um, it's 22 bucks. <laughs> you can tell I really like it. 1980s uh, black and cream abstract print skirt, medium, 28 to 34 inch waist. All elastic waist, so it's comfortable. Uh, this is actually a really fancy pair of pants from the 1960s. Handmade, high-waisted. Um, oh god, again, I know there's a name and these are kind of popular. It's not tap pants, or are they tap pants? I know it gets related to movie stars and people who know a lot about vintage totally know about it. So again, I kind of shy away from that stuff because, I don't know, I don't like the ego knowledge stuff. Anyways, these are actually a really rad pair. I should know what it's called, however, I've forgotten. Satin, oh, the quality of the satin before the 60s and, or before the 70s was just, oh, I don't know what happened and why they don't make it that way, but it is stellar. This pair is $40. Oh, I've forgotten to write down the size. I'll show you a quick trick, though, to see if it fits. Put it midpoint in your body. You should wrap around to about your spine. Missing my spine. It's slipping off. But I can tell you it's around 26, maybe 27 inch. Um, okay. A really, 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 really stellar set. And no, I'm not going to separate it. So don't ask. And don't do that. Please beg. Because I might get rude. <laughs> All wool. Um, the yellow is unique, so I know this will make it a little harder for somebody for it to find its home. Um, oh, beautiful details. This is like a real live buttonhole, guys. That's how it should be done. Beautiful. Um, coat over top. The nice buttons. It's so insanely well made. Yeah, the back is the best part of it. And yeah, that's why everyone wants just the coat. But um, nope, you're going to have to take both. And both I don't suggest wearing them together unless you're reenacting or something. Um, I just I just don't like uh, totally replicating something from an era. Um, so I would definitely suggest separating them one day, especially the dress is quite plain. Um, as two separate pieces, they're insanely amazing. And as the price put together, you're getting such a good deal that it's kind of ignorant to almost want to separate them. <laughs> I have priced this at 180 bucks. I know some people may not like that. I think that is an insanely amazing deal for this wool matching set, which has been impeccably Crochet tailed. cardigan, uh, gold Durex knit. This stuff's always kind of rad for the holiday season coming up. 36 bucks. Uh, okay, Vanity Fair sweaters. We got some cool sweaters. Azure, not much name on the brand. It is um, Hong Kong made, I believe. Uh, just really cool colors. It's got some of that uh, Lurex sparkle. Dolman sleeve with that wide bat wing bit at the uh, underarm. These are really flattering to either a high to larger bust or no bust. Ha! Ah, gives you some woman only curve. Since having the store, I've fallen in love with the Dolman sleeve. <laughs> this is just kind of cool, kind of new wave-ish. 1980s. Um, it's like a sun. Abstract ease. Geometric. It's just wicked. So, um, this is just a really cool Mexican blanket kind of sweater, handmade, it has a giant uh, hood on it. It has uh, quite a little fit, I have to say. The cool classic um, pockets on the outside. I have it priced at 32 bucks, and I have said it was an extra small just because it's kind of hard to fit. Jumpsuit Madness. I have two 70s ones, as you may have seen before, the very Brady Bunch-like. And now I have two 1980s jumpsuits, too. <laughs>